Hey DIYers, so today we're going to be working in my kitchen and it's a nice kitchen, uh, it's got a really nice stove top, however as you can see it's kind of dark down here, there's a lot of shadows, uh, there is a light that's built into the microwave, but uh, it's pretty much pointless at this point. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to be putting up these LED puck lights. Uh, these are just some great puck lights. Uh, you get them with a little 12 volt transformer, plug it right in, it goes into a little distributor, and then you flip them on and it's nice and bright. So we're going to stick a couple of these under our counters here and just have them under our, under our microwave to give us a nice light for cooking, as well as to be able to see the rest of our counters. Now these puck lights, uh, they're LEDs, they're 12 volt, it's pretty much impossible to hurt yourself with them. You see they're in my hand, they're not super hot. Uh, about the only thing you can do to actually hurt yourself is stare right at them. It comes with this nice little diffuser so it's not quite as bright. Uh, and then ultimately, it'll just be a nice quick and easy way to be able to see everything we're doing here in our kitchen as we need it. In the kitchen here, we're using a set of six puck lights that we were able to order off of Amazon. In order to mount these properly, we're primarily going to be using this zip tie mount. Basically, it's a piece of plastic with a double-sided foam tape on the back with a slot for a zip tie to go through. What this does is it helps stick up underneath the countertop and then we can help tie up all the cables and other loose ends that we might have in order to hold things up. If we need a little more strength than the existing foam tape can handle on there uh, or in order to hold up the switch, we can use this 3M double-sided sticky tape. This is much stronger than the, what comes with the zip tie mounts and can hold up pretty much anything. And here you can see all the lights are up and working. Uh, this whole process took about 30 minutes. Uh, it took about five minutes to figure out where I wanted to place everything to get the right placement of lighting uh, across the countertop here. Uh, about three minutes to actually stick them where I wanted them to be. And then the rest of that time in order to try to make it look pretty so that you don't see a whole bunch of cables dangling around on the countertop. So what it came down to is, starts off with this power transformer. This guy has a bright blue light on it that I didn't like. So I'll cover that up with some electrical tape. That comes on up to this guy right here, the power switch. Little power distributor here that the, that the individual cables plug into. And then those go out through the lights. For areas that don't need quite as many lights, you can also get a three puck light set, which is useful for smaller areas that don't need quite as much light. For instance, I have a small area underneath the stairs in my house and had no lights in it. So we went ahead and we just stuck a couple of these lights up there, uh, taped the switch off to the side so you can't even see it. Uh, you can't see any of the cables, it looks perfect. And now we have lots of bright light where there was none previously.